from the movie that we both watched this week, and this is a uh, Dead Rising Watchtower. This is uh, based on the video game Dead Rising, which I had to look up. And it's like, oh yeah, I did play this. And the gimmick with this game was that you could use anything as a weapon. There's just like, like if you're walking by a fucking plant, you can pick that up and that's that's a weapon. You know? And later on, other games, I think they made five or, or shit, eight of these, I don't know. Um, you could start to combine shit and make weird ass weapons. You know, so that was part of that. Uh, but anyway, this uh, movie... It starts out and there's already a zombie virus, you know, and the government's kind of got it contained. They got these, uh, this medicine that you can take that'll quell the virus. And you got this wannabe uh, online journalist, you know. Before I forget, we learn about this Zombrex, I think <laughs> is what it was called. Right. By uh, these commercials, it's animated in the style of like a kid's drawing. Yeah. That's how we learn that this medication exists. Mm -hmm. And, uh, well, he wants to, you know, make the big time. You know, he wants to be a real journalist, like the other guy that survived a zombie uh, apocalypse or fucking outbreak or anyway. And that's a guy that's in the game that you, you play in the game. But while this is going on, this fucking Zombrex stuff, it stops working. And so the virus is breaking out there. This guy's on the run. Uh, the government's called in. And again, they're going to quarantine this place. And, well, shit, if we can't, uh, if we can't fucking uh, contain it or whatever, we got to bomb the shit out of the place so it doesn't spread, you know, to other areas. And uh, in between, we're... In between the action that's happening with this guy, we go to a newsroom and the guy from the video game is talking to a reporter there and he's just you know, really uh, really direct and it's annoying her, Tom. And this is like comic relief for the movie. And old Dennis Haysbert, he's the general and that's the reason we're watching it because we're doing the Dennis Haysbert horror movies, you see. Who I just realized was the motherfucker from uh, Major League. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look the same at all. Guess it's the facial hair and baseball hat. I don't. Yeah, it's probably the baseball uniform as opposed to an army uniform, which we saw in this and in uh, whatever the fucking dog movie we watched last battle week. Battle Dogs. Yeah, Battle Dogs. Uh, yeah, he's playing basically the exact same character in this as he was in that. And this movie was better than I was expecting. You know, it's not great, but fuck. I will put this over Dawn of the Dead any goddamn day. Uh, some of the zombies look good. Some of them don't. Some of them look CGI to shit, you know, or, you know, there's like very little effort. But there is effort, unlike Dawn of the Dead, that where they just painted people blue or what. Um they just showed up on the fucking film, Blue Joe. God damn it. They weren't blue. There's nothing to the, uh, to the game in the form of, like, this lady puts together a weapon, I guess. Uh, but the thing is, it runs a little long. There's a whole thing with a biker that's, you know, being fucking, I don't know, just going around killing folks, stealing folks, uh, shit, uh, raping whatever he wants to do and uh his storyline his interactions with our main characters just fucking boring i didn't give a shit about him uh but everything else i thought was okay i thought those little scenes with the the newsroom where they're talking to the other reporter guy i thought he was pretty at uh yeah i could say this is all right to watch you know if you're uh sitting around doing nothing trying to figure out what to watch instead of flipping around for an hour like i do Swatch this one. It'll be fine. Yeah, I don't know if I'd go that far. Uh, this is everything you've ever seen in a zombie movie before. I mean, there's nothing really new here. As you were saying, the whole, oh, we got to have these. Oh, no good bikers around. Because I've seen that in a few movies before. 
could have dropped all that shit and been fine. Uh, this is a good general audience movie. It comes off very cheap. This is, I guess, one of the first made for streaming movies on that old Crackle. Yeah, Crackle, that's what it was. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's fine. It's... It is what it is. I don't know if it's just because I watched uh, or we watched the Sin City movies. I was just like, Virginia Madison's looking a little bit like Marv. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was, uh, I mean, it was, it was fine. It wasn't like, oh, this shit, but. I mean, it was very middle of the road. It's either watch it or don't. You won't be missing anything. It's just a bunch of shit you've seen before in this movie and that movie. And Okay. It doesn't have a pie fight. So got that going for it. But it does have a clown zombie. It does have a clown zombie. And yeah, that's... See, that's another thing, and I've mentioned that before. Like in zombie movies, they always have to have some fucking ridiculous shit. Like somebody will be in a graduation cap and gown. Somebody will be a fucking in a football. But just one, because yeah. they were doing a photo shoot. The graduation didn't actually happen, because you know there's never more than one. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this one has a clown, and it has that opening sequence that they use again later in the film and i hate that shit you know that's just like fucking you're adding time how did i get here let's rewind mm -hmm. yeah so that sucks that always sucks that's one of my and, fucking pet peeves for movies that when they do that bullshit and i brought up the uh zombrex commercials being the uh animated thing because usually i like when uh Movies bring in different kinds of styles to tell the story and shit. You know, oh, we'll bring this clay animated thing into this 2D animated world. You know, you just combine and shit. Uh, it was kind of jarring in this one. I didn't really uh, care for that mixed media too much. And when they went to the newsroom with uh, Rob Riggle and Lady... That could have probably got cut out, but they were probably like, oh, fuck, we got to add the guy from the game. Let's get a name. And you can uh, shoot it all out in a day and just throw it wherever. I mean, my mom had a couple giggles with it. It's like, oh, I know that guy. This guy's in this type of movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I liked him. I liked the character. I liked uh, those scenes. I liked the frustration showing on the lady reporter's face. I thought she did a good job. Yeah, it was, it was whatever, very middle of the road. I think on the old letterbox, I gave it a three stars, but I didn't like it. Because mm -hmm. there's an option, you know, you rate one to five, and you can give it half stars too. And then you either click on like if you actually liked it. So, I mean, I think three stars and not clicking on like is fair. Like, it's fine. It's a fine movie. I'll fucking never shop here again. But Oh, wait. I <laughs> will. Well. <laughs> oh, fuck. Mm. <laughs> but hey, you can always go to dwnproductions.net if you want to look at my old art. I do masks, busts, props custom work maybe you want some custom work like a clown zombie if so hit me up and then go over to fast custom shirts check out his hundreds and hundreds of t-shirt designs all shockingly reasonably priced you just go over there and be like meals deals i'll buy eight and maybe just maybe you hit him up and say hey joe i want this shirt of a clown zombie and then it'll be like two weeks and you'll be checking your email for a reply and there's nothing. But, hey, you'll see him at a show in a week. So I'll just ask him in person. Hey, Joe, you ever get my email about a clown's up? Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> but that's OK. We're talking about it now and I'll pretend like I'll do it for you. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll check my spam folder when I get home. <laughs> like, like I can't check it on my phone right then and there. <laughs> but Fast Custom Shirts, head on over there. Hundreds and hundreds of t-shirt designs, most of them pretty good. <laughs>